How does stress and anxiety affect our ability to enjoy sexuality? Is it true that diet can affect the taste of sexual fluids? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Stress and anxiety can negatively affect our ability to enjoy sexuality. These conditions can cause decreased sexual desire, difficulties with arousal, and affect physical response. Open communication with your partner and stress management are important for maintaining a healthy sexual life. Diet can affect the taste of sexual fluids. Foods like fruits can make them sweeter, while spicy foods or garlic can have a stronger impact. Hydration and a balanced diet are also important. Kama Sutra in Cinema Movies and documentaries explore the theme of the Kama Sutra, offering visual representations of its teachings and its impact on different cultures and eras. Karetsa is a sexual practice that focuses on emotional and spiritual intimacy rather than orgasm. It encourages deep and prolonged connection between partners. Lasting Memories Memories of satisfying foreplay can linger long after the sexual encounter ends, strengthening the emotional bond and keeping the spark of passion alive in the relationship. In rural communities in Latin America, sexual education workshops may be conducted by health promoters and community leaders, addressing topics such as family planning, disease prevention, and communication in relationships. Legislation and censorship. Pornography is subject to various laws and regulations worldwide, with some countries imposing restrictions on its production, distribution, and viewing, while others have more lax or permissive laws. Lifestyle factors. Factors such as excessive alcohol consumption, smoking, and sedentary lifestyle can contribute to premature ejaculation by affecting sexual function and overall health. Masturbation and empowerment. For many women, masturbation is a form of sexual empowerment by taking control of their own pleasure and exploring their sexuality without shame or taboos. Masturbation as self-care. Many women consider masturbation as a form of self-care and self-healing, allowing them to dedicate time and attention to their sexual and emotional well-being. In some indigenous cultures in Latin America, such as the Maya in Guatemala, there are ancestral traditions that include teaching about sexuality as an integral part of life and individual worldview. Mental preparation. Mental preparation is crucial for a positive experience. Open communication and trust between partners can significantly contribute to emotional comfort. Mixed orgasm. Some women experience mixed orgasms, which are a combination of clitoral and vaginal orgasms. This can be highly pleasurable and satisfying. Multiple orgasms. Some women can experience multiple orgasms in a single sexual session, involving one orgasm after another without a refractory period, enabling continuous pleasure. Muscle training. Some men may benefit from training the pelvic floor muscles, such as Kegel exercises, which can strengthen control over ejaculation by improving bladder retention capacity. Myths and taboos. Throughout history, female masturbation has been surrounded by myths and taboos. However, it is increasingly recognized as a normal and healthy part of female sexuality. It is important to challenge and overcome these stigmas to promote a positive attitude towards sexual self-exploration in women. Need for professional consultation. If premature ejaculation significantly interferes with a man's sexual life and emotional well-being, it is important to seek professional help from a doctor, sexual therapist, or counselor to find the best management and treatment strategies. Nonverbal communication. During foreplay, women often use nonverbal communication, such as moans, sighs, and body movements, to guide their partners and communicate what they like and dislike. Not for everyone. While open relationships work well for some people, they are not suitable for everyone. 
Some people find more satisfaction in traditional monogamous relationships, and it's okay to have different preferences regarding relationship styles. Onset age. Premature ejaculation typically begins in adolescence or early adulthood, but it can persist throughout life if not properly treated. The orgasm gap refers to the difference in orgasm frequency between men and women in heterosexual relationships. Open communication and equality in sexual satisfaction are key to closing this gap. Oxytocin and emotional bonding. Oxytocin, known as the love hormone or cuddle hormone, is released during sex and orgasm. It plays a crucial role in the emotional bond between partners. PC muscle exercise. Regularly practicing exercises to strengthen the pubococcygeal, PC muscle, can help some men improve control over ejaculation. Physical and psychological causes. Erectile dysfunction can have various causes, ranging from physical problems such as cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, and obesity, to psychological causes such as stress, anxiety, and depression. Physical exercise and erectile function. Regular physical activity and aerobic exercise can improve erectile function by enhancing cardiovascular health and increasing blood flow throughout the body, including the penis. Point A is an area inside the vagina that some women find particularly sensitive. Stimulation of this area can lead to intense orgasms and is less known than the G-spot. Pornography and technology. Technology has democratized the production and distribution of pornography with the creation of online platforms where users can upload and share their own content. Post-orgasm sensations. After an orgasm, men may experience a variety of sensations, including a feeling of relaxation and drowsiness due to the release of hormones like oxytocin. Preference for long hair. Some research suggests that people often find individuals with long hair more attractive. This could be related to perceived health and fertility. Prevention and timely treatment are crucial for controlling the spread of sexually transmitted diseases. Awareness campaigns, access to sexual and reproductive health services, and sexual education are key components of efforts to address this public health issue. Prostate orgasm. Prostate stimulation can lead to intense orgasms in men, often achieved through anal stimulation, known as the prostate orgasm. Psychological impact. Individuals diagnosed with an STD may experience emotional distress, anxiety, depression, and social stigma, highlighting the importance of a holistic approach to medical care and psychological support. Refractory period. Most men experience a refractory period after orgasm, during which they cannot have another orgasm. The duration of this period varies from one man to another and tends to increase with age. Regulations and standards. In many countries, sex toys are subject to specific regulations and standards to ensure their safety and quality, including material testing and age-related sales restrictions. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.